So previously, we looked at individual assessment. All the tools we've looked at so far assess individuals, as has been traditional. But as we move further into the 21st century, group processes are beginning to be viewed as more important. We can see this in the concern for 21st century skills when they talk about teamwork, and we can see it when uh, companies emphasize collaborative work and schools emphasize collaborative work. So it becomes important for the instructor to be able to assess not only the individual performance, but the performance of a group as a whole. The next tools we'll look at do this. So the first pepper tool is page hits. Now this means the number of times a student has logged on to Pepper and looked at it uh, on a given day. And you can see here that Wednesday is a big day for Pepper. We get more hits there by quite a few than any other day for this particular class. Now this can cause problems sometimes because keeping up with it on a particular day makes everyone very busy. It would be nice if this graph was even all the way across. However, in the real world, it rarely will be. That's the only real group assessment tool in Pepper, although some of the other individual tools have uh, the potential for group assessment in that they show how the whole group is performing and they show it together on a single page. Now I'm going to move on to a discussion of other environments here because Pepper isn't the only one with online assessment tools. Knowledge Forum also has online assessment tools and it has a different suite of them. And you can see the suite here. There's the lexical analysis tool and it's given in French and in English. There's a contributions tool scaffold support tracker, social network tool, vocabulary growth, and a writing tool. This is an evolving suite as the suite is in Pepper and this will change over time as will Pepper's online assessment tools. Very much we're at the beginning stages of this. So to give you an example of one of the tools, by downloading information from Knowledge Form, we can do a social network analysis. The squares and the circles are nodes and they represent students. Uh, square nodes in this case are female, and as you can see my class was mostly female when I did this, and the round nodes are males. The size of the nodes tells you how often uh, the notes that these people have contributed have been read. And so you can see that most people have contributed quite a few notes and are pretty even in size. However, some people have not. And you can see me waggling my cursor over one person who hasn't contributed as many. And here's another. And finally up in the corner here is someone who hasn't done much of anything. That's a student actually who dropped out of the class. The lines between them, the lines that connect these, indicate who has read whose notes. If an arrow points in one direction, and it's a little hard to see the arrowheads here, but you can see one again where my cursor is waggling. If it points in that direction, it means this person has read that person's note. If the arrows point in both directions, it is bidirectional. Both have read each other's notes. One-way interactions are good for the transmission of simple information. Bidirectional communication is essential for the transfer of complex information. So, there are some issues regarding online assessment that you need to consider. First of all, should students be told about this or not? Should students have access to the tools or not? Should there be some tools that are left only for the instructor to use and that the students can't get at? Should students be able to see each other's performance? These are all questions that haven't been resolved yet. They are being looked at. This is very, very new. So please, Post online in Pepper and discuss what you think about this. Thank you very much for your attention. This ends this short screen recording.